Here is a perfect example of what we mean when we talk about conscious empowerment. This lady, knowing that her ex-husband would be home on a Saturday morning, woke up early, got ready, and told the children to get ready that their father was missing them and wanted to spend time with them. Then she took them to his front door, left them there, and then watched and waited until the door was opened and they were let into the house. And then she called him and he started to rant and rave on the phone because he was upset, because he'd been uncooperative and working against all her efforts to have this happen, simply because he had been angry about their divorce. And she said to him, I told these children that you were missing them and that you wanted to spend time with them. And then she left. She knew that this man is someone who is bothered about what people perceive of him. And so he wouldn't want people in the society to hear that his children were brought to him and he turned them away. And so this is what we mean when we talk about conscious empowerment. Empowerment is not about empowering ourselves against or over the next person. We're talking about relationships that we care about. And so these are people that we care what happens in their best interest. In this case, this mom and her children, recognizing the importance of the role of this father in his children's lives. And seeing that this man was being difficult, she didn't do what everybody else around would usually do, which is just talk about him and feeling like a victim. And then everybody will talk bad about him and talk about how bad he is. And then go and sit and say, we're going to show him that we're going to do without him. We're going to show him that we can do without, we can make it without him, we can survive without him. That doesn't empower us. What we always want to do is to be conscious and strategic in taking decisions about people that we care about. Because otherwise, we're not going to get what's in their best interest. And we're not going to adopt what we see happening around us. Also, we're not going to adopt what Mr. A or Mr. Tom and Jerry did in their situation because someone else might hear about this and want to do it for their own situation. But remember that your situation is peculiar. So we always have to be strategic and conscious in adopting whatever plan or decision that we want to take to get the best results. And that's what we mean when we talk about empowerment. Put everyone in a power position where they can get what's best for them. I'm sure that these children in the future will appreciate what their mom did. And their dad is already enjoying it because now he excitedly spends time with his children. What could be better than that? Remember that a breakdown in communication and relationship within the family is not something that we should overlook at any time. There's always going to be a void and that void is going to be felt and someone is going to try to fill it with something and it might be the wrong thing, especially when it's children. We don't want to leave them on their own because they're not going to tell you. They're going to try to fill that void and they're not going to want to bother you because they feel that you're already bothered. So we must always watch what's happening in our relationships and make sure that we're being empowered. Remember, this power word in there is not about power. It's not a part of it. It's empowerment for everybody's best interests.